Hi, in this video we'll see how to work with calculations or how do we create a calculated field using data blending. Now in the previous video if you remember we have seen this kind of uh, charts what we have prepared is we have taken some data from the primary source data and secondary source data and we have created this kind of chart. So what I want is now I want to create a, a field which will combine sales from both the places and I'll get a third column or in the chart field where I can see the total sales which is done. Okay, so let us see once again, I've just created a sheet that is calculated field here. From the coffee chain's sales, what I'll do is I, I'll just pick up this as state and drop it in the columns. I'll pick up this as coffee sales here like this. Okay, and if I want to swap it back, I can just press Ctrl W from my keyboard. Okay, this is done. So sum of coffee sales which are picked up, but I also want sum of the office city sales. So I'll pick up, I'll click on this office city sales and I'll pick up this as office sales and drop it here. So if you see, now I can see the data in both the places, uh, coffee sales which are done in all the cities and office sales which are done in all the cities. Now, what I want is, I want to create one more field, the third field here, which will give me the total of both the sales the coffee sales plus office sales both of them so what i can do is i can create here a calculated field okay so i'll just right click on this place and click on this create calculated field and type here as total sales total sales total sales is nothing but the name of the field which will be created and total sales will belong to this office city sales database itself data data source so it will be created at this place. Now what do I want is I want sum of both the sales here that is sum of the coffee sales and sum of the office sales. So I'll just type as sum of and I'll type as coffee sales. Okay, sum of coffee sales. I'll, I'll go back. I'll delete this thing. So I'll press sum of and if I say office sales, okay, sum of office sales plus and I'll put as sum of and I'll type here as coffee sales. Okay, sum of coffee sales. So what happened is sum of again in bracket sum of and it says as coffee chains sales, that's a database name dot that that's a field name. That is the field name which is given here. So there are twice which have come as sum. So what I'll do is I'll remove from here as one sum, remove this one and remove one bracket here. Okay, so now it became proper here. Okay, so I'll just go back and if you see here, sum of office sales plus sum of this database coffee chain sales, that is coffee chain sales, in that I have coffee sales field. So that will be given here and I'll click on OK. Again, it says there's some errors. There's some errors. A field named total sales already exists. It says there's total sales which is already existing. So I'll name it as total sales done. Okay, some name I'll give it. And it says the calculation is valid now and I'll click on apply. Okay. All right. So that is total sales done. So what I'll do is I'll just pick up and drop it there. I'll just pick up and drop it here. Okay. So if you see here, I'm getting uh, coffee sales, office sales and total sales. But there's some problem if you observe here, there's total sales. I should get the sales of California here. I should get sales of the, uh, the Florida and the other cities also at this place. So why it is not working here? Because here there are some null values. So null values are also considered anything if you add to null values, if you add X amount to this null values, it will become as null. So what I have to do is I have to convert into some integer. I have to say that do not display the null values, display some numbers or the positive things. So there is a slight change which I have to do. What is the slight change here? Remember that office sales, I have to say as not null itself. So here, if I go to this total sales done, click on this drop down, click on this edit button. And here, if you see, there was the field name was office sales. So what I'll do is in the office sales, I'll just scroll on the left hand side and type here as ZN and bracket open. Okay, ZN and I'll just close the bracket here. Again, I have to type as sum bracket open and close the bracket. So here, if you see what I've done, I'll just scroll on the left hand side again. Yeah, ZN, it will say, it will convert the numbers into the integers. That is the null values into the integers. So whatever there is a null, it will consider as zero and it will add the other numbers. So here in the office sales, why I've specifically done for the office sales, why not for the coffee chain uh, that is coffee sales? Because here there are no null values. 
here there are null values so therefore before add getting a sum of this numbers i said as convert into all the null values into the zero itself so that is done here and i'll finally click on okay part apply okay okay now if you observe here whatever the null values were there it has been converted into zero and whatever california and the florida and other cities sales are also visible here right so this is one method which you can use with the data blending you can create a calculated field with the help of data blending and you can get the addition of all the columns itself i hope you have understood the calculated field that's all for this video